we're going to talk about the wind. Everybody, it's Robert, aka the Tall Man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we had planned to do something else, but because of the wind down here today, we had to cancel. And so we thought it would be a good thing to talk about weather and specifically the wind. So let's go inside where it's a little more, let's just say controlled, and talk about the wind. All right, so for two days now, we've been trying to do some videos outside, and the wind has been just horrible i mean everything is rocking and rolling right now uh gusts uh steady winds of 30 25 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 45. in my brain i was thinking you know what maybe we should talk to some of the people out there about uh, rv living and weather specifically wind one would like to think that if you're going to be rving whether it's for vacation or whether you're full-time part-time it, it doesn't matter that you pay a little bit more attention to the weather uh, than you would when you're living in your brick and mortar. Now, if you're not, please let this be a warning. Uh, you need to become one with the weather when you're living in an RV, because in the end, uh, it is just not the safest structure uh, in the world if you're in horrible weather. Um, so we have a couple apps. They're both free. We have them on our phone. We have uh, one from the weather channel weather.com and uh, we have one called uh, my radar they're both free apps and and so we're constantly checking with these apps they send us alerts so we know ahead of time what's coming so let's talk about ahead of time so the first thing is with high wind is on a travel day so say you're coming up on on a day that you're having to go somewhere you're planning to go somewhere and the weather is bad. Well, I highly suggest that you wait before hooking that RV up to your vehicle and towing because this is what could happen. So wind in an RV don't mix. It's just a big kite or a big sail, a huge billboard that you're towing behind your vehicle. Now, if you're driving one, if it's a class A or class C, uh, same thing. Even though you're driving it, it's a big, huge box and the wind is gonna catch it. So what we've always done is we've always left a couple of days uh, leeway in our travel plans just in case of inclement weather, right? You don't want to risk your safety and the safety of your vehicle uh, in, in heavy winds. It's just not worth it. So try to make a point to leave a couple of days leeway in your travel schedule so that if the weather is bad, you can just wait it out before you go. All right, so that's one thing. Now, let's say you're where you are and you have a storm rolling in. Now, everything I'm about to say should be common sense, but I promise you for whatever reason, it is not. I don't know if it's because people forget, they're not thinking, but you would be amazed <laughs> at what an, what an RV resort looks like after a heavy storm rolls through, okay? Number one, put in your awnings. If you're someone that always leaves out your awning, I don't care if the sucker is tied down. If you've got a storm rolling in, Put that awning in, or Mother Nature is going to take it from you, okay? Number two, those loose things around chairs, fold them up. You can store them underneath your RV, or you can put it in the back of the truck. Or if you have to, bring them inside, but fold them up, because when they're out, again, just a big sale. Heck, um, Lisa's got a little uh, plant garden outside, right? Little, little plant garden, and the wind has knocked all our plants over. My, pet, my mint lost its pot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How many times have you replanted them in the past two days? <laughs> right? And they're tiny little plants just on the ground. And so the wind is going to pick up anything. So if you've got stuff outside, please do your best, pick it up and protect it, or it's going to end up down the street and you're going to have to go looking for it. Number three, all right, this is the worst case scenario. If a really severe storm is coming, just leave, get in your vehicle and go someplace safe. It is not safe to stay inside your RV if you have a super storm coming, okay? You're going to need to determine what that is, right? But for each person, there's a different threshold. But if there's a severe storm coming your way and your alerts are going off, get in your vehicle and, and I don't know, go to Walmart. I mean, go somewhere. Heck, just, just before making this video, I've watched uh, this family on YouTube. They were in their RV and they decided to hang it out in the RV and the thing flipped over on them. All right, they went flying, all right? Fortunately, they're all good, they're all safe. The RV is destroyed. Um, they had to crawl out of it. So it, it's just not worth it. Uh, hopefully you have insurance on your RV, let insurance take care of it. You <laughs> can't replace you, all right? So that is a worst case scenario. If, if a real horrible storm is coming, just get in your vehicle and leave. Come back when it's over. Now, like I said, I know a lot of these things seem like common sense, but I promise you, for whatever reason, people don't think about this when the storms are coming. So, we hope that due to the inclement weather we've been having <laughs> and not being able to get outside and film like we wanted to, uh, that this particular video is going to do you some, some good. It's helping you out. It's helping you learn. For you newbies that have never been in an RV, uh, an RV before, um, if you're buying your very first one, <laughs> weather, 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 weather. And this one's you know, specifically targeted towards wind, but if you live in northern climates and you're gonna be RVing in October, November and a freak, you know, winter storm rolls in, that's a whole different thing to think about. So, we'll maybe make another video about that. This one is mostly about wind. So guys, for all you people that have already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. We appreciate you. We welcome you back every time. We love you guys. For those who haven't uh, subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down there. And while you're there, right next to it is that big thumbs up. Smash that for us. It helps us out a lot. And we appreciate you. We really do. We do this for you guys. We enjoy making content. We're going to continue to do it. So until the next video, we will see you on the road.